This is going to have a lot of families uh, really thinking hard, and that's what I want them to do. He is talking about the bombshell dropped today in court paperwork from UPMC, which now says that tainted linens may have played a part in the mold outbreak that contributed to five patient deaths. And tonight, the family of one of the victims is speaking publicly about that new evidence in an exclusive interview with Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter, Jackie Kane. Jackie. Janelle, yes, Dan Krieg was 56 years old. He lived in St. Mary's, Pennsylvania, but he died in July after contracting a mold infection at UPMC Montefiore Hospital. Tonight, his nephew tells me he's angry, angry because he believes that UPMC knew that the linens they were getting from a local company contained the mold that killed those five people. And tonight he fears more people are still at risk. Dan Krieg knew he had a fight ahead of him when he took his sister's kidney, but never envisioned the fight that would come after his death that his nephew has taken on. Big corporations that I'm fighting against, and I'm trying to make them uh, make them be accountable for, you know, literally killing people. And it's a struggle because it's about money. It's not about anything else. If I would have settled with them, we would have never found this out. Jesse Creek is talking about this 16 page report provided by UPMC that his attorneys say proves the patients who died from mold infections were exposed to it by UPMC's linen supplier, Paris, a company from Dubois. Attorney Brendan Lupitan says the report's findings were stunning. Pumping in unfiltered air from outside its facility on to clean linen to cool it down as part of the drying process surrounding this vent was heavy, heavy loads of the fungus, the same fungus that contributed to the deaths and the infections of all these patients. The testing was done by UPMC in February. Dan Krieg was admitted to UPMC Montefiore in March. The report was finished by May. Krieg and his attorneys believe patients are still at risk. I know of no uh, actions that have been taken to correct this. And how does that make you feel? Angry. <laughs> Angry. Attorneys say the scope of this is massive. Paris supplies linens to 180 customers in Pennsylvania, Ohio, and West Virginia. They supply to 22 UPMC hospitals. Tonight, UPMC is saying they can't comment on the allegations, but will continue to work closely with health officials to ensure the safest possible environment for patient care. All we're asking for is for the CDC to please come back Please conclude your investigation and determine if, in fact, this is the explanation and whether it's been fixed. The end goal for me is for them to own it and, and fix it because there can't be, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten that die next. And I fear for that. Now, I reached out to Paris tonight, the company from Dubois, but I got no response. Attorneys are urging any immune suppressed patients to find out whether they could have been exposed to linens from Paris. Reporting live, I'm Jackie Kane, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.